podcast in which one man strives to level up his geekhood and helping you do the same one battle at a time. Now, let's get geeky with Gamer Leaf. The evil forces on Earth are a disarray. As an evil lord, you have to grab control of what soldiers you could build an army. But the four main factions, creatures, the Dark Elf Empire, Undead, and Mechas, refuse to fight on the same side in your name. You have, to, you have entered the minion market with the soldiers you have gathered, seeking to exchange what you cannot use to build an unstoppable army. Trade wisely and you will be able to defeat anyone who stands between you and the world domination. Did that sound familiar to you guys? It didn't to me neither, but this is the story of Evil Overlord, a new card game that's currently on Kickstarter by Ed Jowett. There can only be one Evil Overlord. And we were lucky enough to be able to play this game for you and give you a preview today. So, can you tell us a little bit about the game, Princess Leaf? It's really fun. It's also really easy for, I guess, older than four, because my younger sister is four. Anyway, um, so you're basically trying to make an empire, and you're supposed to only pick one type, so they have like a face, um, a rabbit, a skeleton head, and a robot, the machine thing. And they're all symbols, and they have all different names. Like there's vampires, um, and robots, and jack people, and stuff like that. And it's a really fun game. Do you remember how to play it? Yeah, so you're basically, it's kind of like a drafting game. Um, except after you're done drafting, you have to wait till the next round. And the drafting was kind of interesting. What you go through is you go through and you secretly trade your cards. You go ahead and, um, count out, you say how many cards you want to trade. And you don't want to tell anybody what you're trading or what you're trying to get. Otherwise, you'll be disqualified from the game. But you, everybody has seven cards in their hand and you go through and trade until you're done. You don't have to... You trade any, but you can, and sometimes I found it beneficial to get all of them, and then like at the, as I was getting nearer the end of playing, I realized that some of the cards, if I didn't, if I did trade them, they would come back and hurt me, so you got to be careful of that, too. Did you have a favorite faction, Princess Leaf? Um, I liked the red and the purple. Well, what were they? Do you remember? The red and purple, let's see here. So red, let's see, I'm trying to look here. The undead purple was... and the dark elf and pot. Wait, no. The Undead and the Dark, dark Elf. Well, I think, pur- I think Purples were actually robots. They were the Mecha, mm-hmm. if I'm looking yeah. at this right. The they got the blue. Ro- what? The blue. I'm not sure. But it's the color on the card around it, and that equals the color. Oh, well, she's looking at that. Okay. Well, what about, um, we also have Barbarian Leaf joining us as well today. He can't save much because his mouth hurts. But what what faction do you like the best? The robots. He liked the robots, so you like the robots. I would have to say I don't know what exactly they were, but I would have to go with the evil bunnies. So yeah, that's what I used a lot of. Um, that's called creatures. I guess I went with the creatures a lot of at the time. So that was pretty cool. So, Princess Leaf, what did you think about the game overall? It was a fun, fast-paced game. It takes about around five and more minutes. Yeah, so it's like probably le- yeah less per round, and then it just depends on how many people you have and how long it takes trading and whatnot. We spent yeah. quite a bit of time trading and whatnot. You can probably do more than eight. What? Yeah, it, it just says, says eight. Two to eight player, you can maybe do more, but I think that's you what they... You can maybe do a hundred. I don't know. that There's only 108 cards, so you wouldn't be able to have seven in your hand, so... You could give everyone one, and then someone gets eight. I don't know about that. Well, there's an interesting thought. But yeah, no, um, I thought it was pretty fun. 
Uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. So would you, if we didn't have the, actually, you know what? The creator is doing something horrible to us, which I think is uh, despicable. He's actually having us pass this on to another creator, another content creator to do a review of it. So in essence, he's making it. If we want this game, we'll have to go ahead and back it. Do you think we should back it, Princess Leaf? Yeah! Why is that? So we can play it! Well, yeah, but we played it already. So you would play this again then? Yes! Let's not yell, can we? You I'm would trying play... to talk louder. Okay, well, don't yell. So that's awesome. So would you, if you had your own money, would you back it? Yes! Well, that's cool. And you would play it again. What do you think about your friends? Do you think they might like it? Maybe, if they're older than six. I don't think Lori would like it, though, because she's too young. Well, there you go. There you have it. What about yourself, Barbara and Leaf? What do you think? Do you like this game? Yeah. Would you play it again? I guess. Would you back it if we, you had your own money on I Kickstarter? Guess. Cool. What would you tell your friends about it? What's the main point about it you liked? Mm, the robots. Well, what about the gameplay, the whole gameplay? What did you think? Um, I thought it was fun. Cool. Well, there you, there you have it. And I, myself, I thought it was really cool. I really like, it's a lot of cards, and you try to be the evil overlord. Um, it, after you play it for a while, you'll know a little bit more about what the cards do. I'm a little shaky on some of the rules, but yeah, there's going to be a video after we review this. We're actually one of the first people to be able to review this game. Also, there are some cards without special abilities. Yeah, so what would you do about that? Just put them in the card pile where nobody can play them. Interesting, interesting. But yeah, I really liked it. Yeah, that's where we're a little shaky. But I imagine he'll have everything up on the Kickstarter page. So no need to fret. Make sure you go and check it out on the Kickstarters again. It is actually... Or just have them defend the people who have special attacks. Well, there you go. There you have it. So yeah, go check it. Like I was about to say... Go check it out, Evil Overlord, over there on the Kickstarter. Only one can be an overlord. Yeah. Evil Overlord. Yeah, only one can be an Evil Overlord. It's for ages 6 and plus, 2 to 8 players. The duration is 5 plus minutes. And yeah, it's a pretty cool game. I love the art. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. The instructions are really to the point. It's a very small instruction booklet. Definitely give it a try and check it out on the Kickstarters. Now... On to, what do we go on to next? Kickstarter Corner. It'd either be Kickstarter Corner or what's the other thing we like to do? On the flip side. What do we do on the flip side? Adventures in? Application. Acquisition. So, until next time, this is Game Relief. And this ha has been bringing to you live. We are out of this place. Say geeky, get geeky, and... Bring others into the Geek Four. See you at Kickstarter Corner. Interesting. It's time for <laughs> Kickstarter Corner. <laughs> to begin now. You heard her right, ladies and gents. It's time for the Kickstarter Corner. So that's exciting. Just so you're aware, I'm unaware of when... Ed is actually launching Evil Overlord. I know that it should be in any day now. So keep an eye on Kickstarter. If we get a link and we're able to, we'll attach it to the show notes. Otherwise, we'll just direct you all to his Facebook page. But anyways, shall we get on with this? Yes, we shall. So we've got some great games on Kickstarter Corner. We'll start with Monster Card Boulevard. It's a two to four player strategic card game featuring 90 silly, seductive, and scary monster cards. It's easy to learn, yet hard to monster. Not monster, I keep saying that. Master from Charlie Abrams. They're almost to their goal and they still got 55 days to go, ending on the 17th of July. Definitely check this one out. I would be a little bit later. Older, I mean. Yeah, be a little bit older as some of the cards might be seductive. We'll have the creator on the show this coming week, so make sure you watch for that. Do you want to never miss an episode of Getting Geeky with Game Relief again? Do you want to be able to find out about new Kickstarters? Do you want to be able to find out about giveaways that we're doing? 
make sure you go ahead and subscribe to our email mailing then. Go ahead and go to our website, Game Relief. At, no, that's our... If you want to find out have your game featured on our podcast, make sure you send us an email at GameRelief at GameRelief.com or Facebook message, Getting Geeky with Game Relief or Blake Leafty. Otherwise, if you want to find out about what's going on on the podcast or the website or anything like that, make sure you are subscribed to our mailing list over at GameRelieveGo.com. Kind of like Pokemon Go, yet it's GameRelieveGo.com. Make sure you sign up for that. And anyways, so Monster Card Boulevard, check that one out. Like I said, we'll have him on the show. And those mailings should be coming out weekly as well as if there's a cool kickstarter we want to bring your eye to we'll make sure we go ahead and send out emails about those as well yard of the month gnome smashing fun hopefully our review or preview whatever you want to call it of that game will be coming on friday as well as this friday we're also on engaged family gamer podcast me and Princess Leaf, at least. And we talk about Yard of the Month, how it became Princess Leaf's favorite game. It's a gnome smashing garden sabotaging game of wits, flowers, and fun for the whole family. Did I mention gnome smashing? Definitely check that out on the Kickstarters. It goes through the 15th of June. Definitely check that one out. Let's see here. Next, what do we have next? Well, let's tell you about it. Next, we have Pit. Well, The Pit, the board game. It's a four-player co-op dungeon crawler in an epic sci-fi universe inspired by the cult classic video games. We're really hoping that the Leafs will be able to preview this game even if it's not still on the Kickstarters. Been talking to one of the people dealing with it, of the company, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. They're right now, they're doing pretty good. They're at 24000 out of a $36,000 goal, and they still have got 18 days to go, going through the 10th of June. Definitely check this out. It is awesome, and if you don't want the board game, for some reason you're just a video gamer, you can go ahead and get the video game tier, which is only about four U.S. dollars, five Canadian dollars to be exact. And next we have Treasure Mountain, which combines worker placement and tile laying to create a unique experience where you can bump other workers off spaces and take action. This is almost at 200% funded, and they still got 10 days to go, going through the 1st of June. Definitely check that one out. And then don't forget about Forgotten Fight, a deck-building card game. You need to choose a team of three heroes, to prove that you know the best combo. Think of Magic the Gathering with a deck builder. As a deck builder, I mean. Where you're fighting people. And this one is pretty cool. Go ahead and back it and you can get updates all the time. They've got 24 updates out. That I think they send a card a day so you can get a, a glimpse of it and see what's going on with it. Definitely check that one out. They go through, did I say the 26th of June? Well, if I didn't, there I did. Next, we've got On Their Merry Way. It's a relaunch of this game. It's a unique path-building board game starring the underdogs in the tales of Robin Hood, the greedy merchants, and the merry men. Definitely check this one out. They've got three weeks to go, and they're doing pretty good. They're at $3,100. Well, $3,101 if you want to be technical. Out of a $5,500 goal. Definitely check this one out. It is a pretty cool game. Had the creator on a while back ago, and it sounds like a fun, fun one. Next, we've got Cryptocuffs. It's a card game about cryptozoology. Cryptocuffs, a card game involving some of your favorite cryptozoological creatures battling it out to see who is the top cryptid. I really hope they make their goal. They've got about 12 days to go. Definitely check it out on the Kickstarter going through the 4th of June. You know Scooby-Doo? Well, think Scooby-Doo characters without the masks. And then last but not least, we've got the Swords of Valor card game. The Swords of Valor card game gives you the opportunity to join us in the sword fighting list. 
without all the years of pesky training. They've got, by the time you hear this, they'll have about 24 hours or a little bit more. And they're really, they're not there yet. They don't have to get very far. What do they need? I can try to figure out how many backers they need. Well, so we're looking at a pledge of, let's see here. Let's say a pledge of, I don't know. Right now, let's see here. They've got 487, so they got about 500. They need about, let's see, 500. They need about $2,000 more. One, two, let's see, four. So 15, 30, 45, 60. If 60 of you great listeners go ahead and back this game in the next 24 hours, we can help see this project to completion. You can sword fight your friends in Card World. Definitely check it out on the Kickstarters. And I think that's all we have. Let me go ahead and I was going to go ahead and do something for you. I know we brought these to you, but we have yet to hear back from our lovely winners of our last contest. So let me go ahead and pull it up. What was it? It was Gleam. So I'm going to pull up Gleam so I can tell you our winners. Yes, sirree, Bob, our winners because they deserve to be recognized. And you probably, if you won... You probably want to claim your prizes, do you not? I don't know. Hopefully you do. But anyways, Game Relief's epic board game giveaway that we ended. It ended eight days ago. So eight or nine days ago. And we have the winners. We've already announced them, but we're going to do it again. And remind you that if you are one of the winners, or if you know one of the winners, make sure you go ahead and let us know by this upcoming Monday, Monday the 28th which is Memorial Day here in the United States. Make sure you let us know. Send us an email over at GameRelief at GameRelieveGo.com and you can get your games or gift cards if you live out of the United States. So, we've got Jeremiah Driscoll, who, yeah, Jeremiah Driscoll, you're in the U.S. Go ahead and contact us. Send us an email, like I said. And then we've also got... I hate to slaughter this, so I'll tell you, out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, the name is E-U-C-I-L-D-E-S, and last name is P as in Peter, I, Z as in Zebra, U-R-K. So, yeah, go ahead and send us an email. And also, out of the United, another person out of the United States is Andy Kim, out of Ontario, Canada. Definitely go ahead and send us an email at GameRelief at GameRelieveGo.com so you can claim your prizes. And yes, 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 yes. What the heck? So, I'm waiting for the winner so I can announce the winner of the contest when we partnered with Jim Moran over at Play Smart Dice over on our Facebook page, which we did a giveaway. I want to be able to tell you the winners. So in the meantime, while I'm waiting to find out who it is, I'm going to go ahead and bring you Adventures in Application Acquisition, where we talk about an app, be it for your cell phone, your tablet, your computer, even a video game. This week, I'm the one bringing it to you. So... I was cruising or perusing, whatever you want to call it, around on the Switch that I don't do very much. And I found this great indie game called Saturday Morning RPG. And this is awesome. I tell you what, I'll just read the explanation they have on IndieGames.download or whatever you want to call it. It's Saturday Morning RPG is an episodic JRPG set in world heavily inspired by 1980s Saturday morning cartoons and pop culture. Players take the role of Martin Marty Michael Hall, an average high school student who has just been granted an incredible power, a power that ultimately leads him to attract the ire of the world's most notorious villain, Commander Hood. Saturday Morning RPG features a full soundtrack by legendary composers Vince Dacola, Transformers animated movie Rocky IV, and his composing partner Kenny Meredith, contributor to DuckTales, Power Rangers, X-Men, and others. So, this is an awesome game. You have this power in which you're granted these things, these magical items, well, no, the regular items in everyday world, 
and they become magic when you touch them. So I'm go. I've only played a couple times, but you're battling, trying to get your girlfriend back from Commander Hood, and you can use items like everyday items that are magical. You use a compact disc. I don't know if any of you know what that is. Maybe you do. Digital music is still not 100%. They still have compact discs. You can throw that at the bad guy. You can throw a basketball at him. And what else do they have? I don't remember. There was. You can have a bunch of uh, magical unicorns go after him. And then you can also eat a big cookie to get your health back. It's a pretty fun game. I'm not very far in it. It was only like $9.99 on... The Switch. It looks like you might be able to get that on Mac and um, different things as well. I think I'm going to check it out and see if I can get it on my phone because that would be amazing. But I played it on the Switch and I think you might be able to get it on Steam and elsewhere as well. So I'll make sure I leave a link to Indie Games Download or whatever on the podcast show notes. And yeah, definitely check that out. Let's go see if we have a winner waiting for a winner. I don't know if you'll get the winner today. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and get you the winner. I hope it won't be too long. But in the meantime, I have a couple of exciting things that are going to be going on the podcast. Let me tell you all about it. We have some upcoming guests. We're going to have, like I told you before, we're going to have the creator of Monster Card Boulevard on the show. We're also going to have the creator of, what is it, Yard? I I don't want to slaughter it. I keep getting confused. Yard of the Month, that creator is going to be on with us. We're also going to have on, who else are we going to have? Um, Hopefully we'll have Richard Simpson from We're Not Wizards on as well coming up here. Well, I'm going to go ahead and edit the episode. I'm hoping that you guys will get to know who the winner of that giveaway is pretty soon here. Anyways, regardless, I'll go ahead and say this in my little spill. And you may you may get it. You may not get it afterwards, after the fact. But it's our least favorite time, your least favorite time. Time to go ahead and sign off, I guess. So in the meantime, go ahead and get geeky, stay geeky, and bring others in the geek fold. And you know what? We will catch you all on the flip side. Gamer Leaf, you guessed it, out. Are you all still listening? I hope so. So, we have a winner. That's right. We have a winner to our geeky giveaway where you win eight dice and eight games from us as well as... Play Smart Dice. So the winner is Susan Buto. B-U-E-T-O-W. And she shared this on her page, which is Susie Q... I don't want to slaughter it. But you go ahead and I'll leave a link in the show notes to her page. But Susie Q... Cutie Pies Cafe. Susie Cutie Pies Cafe. We'll leave a link in the show notes. And go ahead and send us an email, Susie, over at GameRelief at GameRelieveGo.com or just Facebook us messages at Getting Geeky with Game Relief or Blake Leafy on the Facebooks and we'll get in contact with you. Thanks for playing and I can't wait till we get the next giveaway for you guys. Reminder, if you won and you um, heard your name being called about the eight great games or gift cards out of the U.S., make sure you email us as well or Facebook message us. You have through the 28th, which is this upcoming Monday. Anyways, go ahead and get geeky, stay geeky, and bring others in the geek fold, and we'll catch you all on the flip side. Game Relief, out again. Next week to see if Gamer Leaf and Dreams are respawned.